everybody. I'm headed out to Home Depot. I'm getting a little antsy to install that solar panel. I probably am not going to do it today, but I'm going to check out the wire and the solder and flux and see if I can get that all worked out because I want to get it done. Here we go, the Home Depot. Time to look at some spools of wire. So we shall see what they got. I know they got a lot, so let's see. Okay, I'm here checking out the wire. I see a couple possibilities. They have 2224 aluminum SER for $1.56 a foot. But I'm more interested in the 224 aluminum URD. Hey. Hey. Okay, guys. I had to shut the camera off because I don't do cameras around people. It weirds me out. Maybe later. But I was set straight. I thought solar panels had aluminum wire, but apparently they don't. They have, I think he said, tin plated copper wire. So I can just buy copper wire and solder it and be done. I did forget heat shrink tubes, so. So now I'm going to have to get some heat shrink tubes. But I got, what did I get? What does it say here? This is impossible to see. There's no way you guys are going to be able to read this, I bet. Uh, it says it's outdoor lighting, UV resistant, uh, 12 AWG 2 slash C, low energy circuit cable. So I went a little bit bigger because... I want to make sure it's plenty good. Yeah, the guy who works here, his name is Seth. He works at the Home Depot here in Fergus Falls. I worked here uh, three years back, and he was here. He is very, very knowledgeable. So um, I hope they're paying him all right because he's worth every penny. All right, I'll get back to you when I'm out at Walmart checking stuff out. Okay, so Walmart was a no-go. The people at Walmart are much less knowledgeable than the people at Home Depot, or at least Seth at Home Depot. I know there's a lot of knuckleheads that work at Home Depot too, but Seth is really smart. The guy here told me he actually physically walked over and pointed right there. I stood there like, there's no heat shrink here. <laughs> so off to Fleet Farm I go. If I can't find it at Fleet Farm by myself, which I know I can, I'm S-O-L because at Fleet Farm, there's not very many employees to help out. So, which is fine. I don't need their help. I don't need it. All right. Peace. See you in a bit. Fleet Farm. Blah, blah. Okay, guys. I got the shrink tubes. So... I don't know, I might just head out there and I think I'm gonna get those, attempt to get those wires soldered uh, out in the RV. So that's where I'm headed now. My blood sugar's low. I gotta get something to eat. And then I'm headed out to the RV. Okay, bye. Woo wee, sure is bright. Nice and toasty in here, but I got everything running. So I'm gonna get it real hot in here. And then I'm gonna shut everything off so it's quiet when we do the soldering. It's always gotta be quiet when you solder. Right now, warming up the solder gun. I got my heat shrink. I got my solder. Got the torch just in case I need to get the wires a little hotter. I got my nippers for wire cutting. I got razor blades just in case. Yeah, I'm set, so let's get started. Okay. All right, sorry about that guys. Now it'll stay. I should have brought my good tripod. What I should have done. Okay, so I'm gonna scrape this just to help a little bit. Get that black crap off of it. Sometimes that helps. And you notice I didn't clean these wires up at all. Normally you'd wanna rough them up a little bit with sandpaper or something, but I don't think I need to. 
just going to stick this underneath. And this is going to take a while. Well, the cardboard's getting hot. I can smell that. They were starting to burn the cardboard. This is where I feel like I might need to fire up the torch. I might just go full torch. Let's try it. I think we have a little bit of a fire here. Oh, I can smell it. Yeah, I guess. Forget the soldering gun. This wire's too thick. So that one is done. I'm going to put this cardboard fire out. Yuck. Oh my gosh, was that warm or what? Guys, that was still a little hot. Woo -hoo -hoo. I can see my fingerprints on it. I mean, that is awesome bond right there. So, let's move on. Oh, well, that's a really good bond. Of course, of course it is. Get the next one going. Let's get these separated a little bit. Gotta start a fire. And now, I might have a little bit of trouble because I might have to come the other way with the torch, I think. And that soldering iron is burning that wood. Wow. Smells good though. That little slab of wood came from Idaho. I have no idea what tree it is. But it came from Anderson Pass Ranch. One of the first, I think the first video I made, possibly. Now, man, that's awesome. I love it. Way better than any connector. this out of the way and tape it and then I'm going to heat shrink it. The wire is cool now so and yeah another reason you don't want to use too much flux you just need a little bit. A it's expensive, B it's greasy so if you put a lot on there it'll mess up your tape job a little bit. Maybe. Isn't the greatest tape? Well, it's actually it's just a little cold, so it's kind of tough to stretch. I'm trying to stretch it. You don't want to just roll. You got to pull it tight, and that's gonna be good enough right there. And I should cut it with a razor. This razor sharp. Here goes my finger. One. Like I said, you definitely don't want to forget to put the shrink tubes on. I have done that before. I think everybody's done that before. Alright. I'm on the wire, so I'm not really stretching it that hard right now. But now I'm starting on it. Start starting to want to try and stretch it. So it doesn't get sloppy. Come on back. Stretch it out. And this is this is doing a job right. Pinch connectors, oh, forget it. You're asking for trouble. Just solder it. It's not hard. It's not hard, guys. You saw how easy it was. If you've never soldered before, you're not good at it. If you're not good at soldering, I bet you odds are. You're just not getting it cleaned good enough. If you soldered new wire, I bet you'd be awesome at it. I probably should have cut it there with the, with the razor blade, but I didn't. Okay, now let's heat shrink it, and then we're going to be done. And I'll try and do it on camera without burning the table. So I definitely don't want to wreck this table. Uh, let's get it right in the middle. Looks good. We're real close to the middle. 
I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn it down very low. Very low. I kind of want to just slowly just eat it up. It's a piece of cake. Just don't overdo it. I don't want to get some on the other side, too. Next. Just don't heat too much on one spot. Keep it moving. Try to keep the flame low. I try and work my way from the middle out. Try not to get air trapped in there. I really want to make sure it shrinks down as much as it can here. Because this is a pretty big shrink tube. But the next size smaller would have been too small. It's like they skipped a size of me. That looks great. A oh, little bit down at this end still. That's it. I'm just gonna let that cool a little bit. And I'm gonna keep these connectors. I, you know, I, this is something right here. I'm gonna end up keeping these. And you know what? I'll never use them, I bet. But the second I throw them away, I'll need them. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Okay, so that's pretty much it on how to solder those wires. Uh, the next step for me is going to be to get it up on the roof, get it mounted, run the wire down to the uh, MPPT controller, and there'll be another 100 watts of solar, <laughs> and I'm really happy about that. So, alright, that's it, later, peace!